to teach you about knee traps. They're a really fun trick that allows you to access the bottom side of your body. They can be combined into other tricks to create longer combos, and they can be a lot of fun. So, let's break it down. The first thing you need to know about a knee trap is it's a lot like a hand roll. The staff is going to travel across your hand and end at a point. Now, when you start, if you start below your center mark and you roll, you'll end up on your center mark. If you're above your center mark and you roll the opposite direction, you'll roll back to it that way. So this is a helpful advice when you're going into knee traps. Because when the staff rolls over onto your knee, you're going to want that point here just off center. It's important when you do that, because then when you do your ball change, and you step down and transfer to the other side, it's going to give you plenty of staff out here to place your hand underneath. Now you're going to push it up, and it's going to wrap up your knee and over your hand and into a stall. So it's a lot of fun to add these in different places. The main thing to remember with a knee trap is that when it's here, you can stay there for as long as you want. When you step down with this foot, you're going to bend the opposite foot, allowing the staff to transfer from one side to the other. And then hand under the staff, push onto your knee, and out. So, one of my favorite ones is a front side double roll that goes to a knee trap. So we'll start in a forward stall with our hand under the staff and our fingers pointing towards our body. We're going to come across the chest to the knee trap and then back out. These are a lot simpler than you would think because the staff already wants to travel in this manner. Voila! The next thing I like to do is called an angel wing to a knee trap. I'll show you a standard angel wing first. Now to a knee trap. You can come back across with the front side double roll to knee trap. And then make it continuous. Allowing the staff to keep flowing. The last thing we'll talk about is making a knee trap continuous. So from our initial hand roll, Go into the knee trap, coming out here, landing back into the knee trap. Out here, back into the knee trap. Out here, back into the knee trap. Well, I hope this has been helpful. And practice those maneuvers. And you'll notice your flow starts getting a little more complicated, but it's a lot of fun. Hope you have a great day!